Adobe Fresco is a painting and drawing app that provides a powerful set of creative tools for digital artists. Let's take a quick look at some of the basic features of the app so that you can get started creating your own artwork. We'll begin with the layers over on the right side. The active layer has a thin blue border on the thumbnail. You can change the order of a layer in the Layers panel by pressing down on the layer thumbnail and then dragging it to another location in the layer stack. Tap the Layers button at the top right of the Layer taskbar to hide or show the Layer stack. Below that are the Layer Properties where you can name a layer, choose a Blend Mode, or adjust the opacity of a layer. The plus symbol is the Add Layer button and this will add a new empty layer above the active layer. The eye icon is the Layer Visibility button. Tap on this to hide or show the active layer. And the three dots opens up the More Options menu with additional layer actions. When you launch Adobe Fresco, the first thing that you'll see is the home screen. Here you can create a new drawing or painting from scratch, which is what we'll do in this lesson. You can tap Import and Open to import an image from another location, such as Dropbox, or you can open images that you've recently worked on. Let's go ahead and start a new image by tapping on the Create New button. In this screen there are a variety of presets that you can choose from or you can create a custom size. I'm going to tap on Print and then I'll tap on the little arrow next to the word Poster down here and I'll choose to switch to a landscape format. Then I'll tap on the poster icon to open up a blank document into Fresco. I'm going to start by going up to the Pixel Brush and in the Favorites, I'm going to choose the Ink Stains. Now let me clarify that all of these brushes are found in different Pixel Brush groups, and I have added them to the Favorites in my version of the app. If you're using Fresco for the first time, you won't see any Brush Favorites here. The Ink Stains brush can be found in the FX brushes. I'm going to tap on the Color Chip, and I'm going to use this color wheel here to dial in a bluish green color, something like that. Then I'm just going to Layers and Layer Masks are very useful when creating an illustration in Adobe Fresco because parts of a drawing can be organized on separate layers for greater flexibility. This makes it very easy to modify the different components of your drawing. In this illustration there are four layers for the astronaut. We have the color layer and the ink outlines layer and also layers for the reflections on the helmet and the tether. I want to scale and rotate the astronaut, so I need to put these four layers into a layer group so I can transform them at the same time. To create a layer group, I'm going to take the thumbnail for the ink outlines layer and drag it onto the color layer, and you can see how that's created a layer group. Next, I'll add in the helmet reflections layer and the tether layer. To see the contents of a layer group, just double tap on its thumbnail, and you can work with the layers there if you need to. To return to the view of the main layer stack, just tap the little back button at the top of the layer group. So with the astronaut layer group selected, I'm going to come over to the toolbar and select the Move and Transform tool so I can transform all these layers in the group. And I just want to scale this a little bit smaller, so I'll use a two-finger gesture to do that and maybe rotate it a little bit. I could use the handle at the bottom to rotate, and of course I could also use the corner handles if I wanted to scale this proportionally as well. All right, that looks pretty good. Some of the coolest features in Adobe Fresco are the groundbreaking live brushes that emulate not just the look, but also the behavior and the paint mixing qualities of watercolors and oil paints. Let's explore some of the ways that the oil painting engine in Fresco creates realistic oil brush strokes with colors that blend together like actual oil paints. The oil brushes are found in the Live Brushes, which is the second brush tool in the toolbar. Down at the bottom of the toolbar, you can find the options for those brushes. You have an option to change the size of the brush. Then there's the flow setting. And perhaps the best way to explain what Flow does is that it controls how much paint is loaded onto the brush. And to give you an idea what that looks like, I have a layer here that I've already prepared. 
using two different flow settings. So the blue brush stroke on the left was made with a flow setting of 10, and the brush stroke on the right was made with a flow setting of 50. So you can see how those differences have affected the characteristics of each stroke, as well as how much paint was put down on the canvas. Let me just tap on the visibility icon to turn that layer off. And let's go down to the brush settings now. There's a variety of different settings here you can experiment with and see what they do. One thing to take note of is the pressure dynamic setting, which will control how the Apple Pencil interacts with the iPad when you're using that. So you can have the The watercolor brushes in Adobe Fresco provide incredibly realistic brush and wet color results that do an amazing job of mimicking all of the blending subtleties of the watercolor medium. Let's check out some of the important settings and brush characteristics so you can get started creating your own watercolor paintings. Tap on the live brushes in the toolbar to access the watercolor brushes. I'm just going to leave this set to the watercolor round detail brush. The tool options for the watercolor brushes can be found down at the bottom of the toolbar. There's the usual brush size option. Below that is flow, which controls how much paint is on the brush and influences the intensity and the translucency of the color that you apply. So in order to explore that, let me just do a long press on the woman's hair to sample some of that color with the eyedropper. And I will set the flow down fairly low maybe to about 20. And let's use a larger brush here. I'm going to zoom up so we can see what's going on. And I'll add a few brush strokes on her hair using that low flow setting. So you can see what the result is there. Next, I'm going to turn the flow setting up higher. Maybe I'll go up to about 55. And we'll add some more brush strokes. And you can see the difference. You can see how the Color intensity is much more pronounced with that higher flow value there. Live streaming in Fresco is very easy to do. First, sign up for a free Behance profile using your Adobe ID at Behance.net. Now you're ready to stream directly from Fresco, as long as you are signed in with your Adobe ID in the app. Simply tap on the share icon at the top right of the screen. You'll now see the option to live stream. Tap on this to start the process. The first time you do this, you need to give Fresco permission to use the camera and microphone on your device and allow screen recording. Next, review and agree to the Behance community guidelines. Then you can enter a title and a description for your live stream if you wish. Next, you have a menu bar that allows you to set up your sound and video. If you want your device's camera turned on during the stream to film your face while you draw and chat, you can enable or disable this feature. The same goes for your microphone. Want to broadcast a silent live stream? Just disable the microphone. I've disabled my device's camera and I'm almost ready to go live. Before I do, I'll tap on the three dots to the right of my camera icon. Here I find a couple of more options to customize my live stream. I can choose to have the chat on or off depending on whether or not I want my audience to write comments or questions as I draw live. I can also choose whether or not I even want this live stream to be publicly available for viewing. Tap the three dots again to close this menu. When I'm ready to go live, I tap Start Broadcast. I'm given a five second countdown and then I'm on the air. Multicolor selection is a powerful new feature in Adobe Fresco that will open up a world of possibilities for artists. Any pixel brush or live watercolor brush can be used to sample literally any area of the canvas to create a new multicolor swatch. The swatch is added to the color history and immediately loaded onto the brush, allowing for a wide range of painting effects. Here are just a few of them. To the right of the canvas, you'll see a variety of swatches I've painted in Fresco. By using the touch modifier with one finger, I can select any area of canvas with my other finger and instantly create a multicolor swatch. Zooming allows me to control the size of the area I'm selecting, which makes it very easy to control. Now, all I have to do is paint with whatever brush I'm using, and voila, multicolor magic. 
Now, since this feature works with any pixel brush, there are thousands of possibilities. For example, watch how fun it is for me to use multicolor for spatter. Or even multicolor halftone dots. Or, if I select this swatch that has subtle color variations, I can create beautiful brush strokes with a more controlled range of hues, like the water in this illustration. Want to paint some stripes? Simply paint a swatch, like this blue and yellow one here, sample it, and then paint. Simple. This green sphere that I painted looks three-dimensional, and all of the brush settings in Fresco allow for even more options. By using a simple round brush with tight spacing, I can take that swatch and paint a 3D tubular shape like this. Or I can increase the stamp spacing, make sure my pen pressure is tied to brush size, and then paint beads with the same multicolor stamp. 